After having had to wait almost a thousand days between the last two Sundays in hell, just six months passed since the last one and the anticipation as big as ever. Riders rolled out along the 257.2 kilometre course between Compiègne and Roubaix. First 96 kilometres without any cobbles and then the gates to hell at Troisville opening before the first of the big five-star sectors coming at the Arenberg and its trench. mont saint pavel and Carrefour de l'Arbre, the other big five-star sectors, but 55 kilometres of cobblestones in total on the way to the famous old concrete track in the northeastern city of Roubaix. The 119th running of Paris-Roubaix. A sunny day, the wind blowing, and that conditioned the early racing. Ineos Grenadiers with Michal Kwiatkowski giving it a nudge in the wind. A gap quickly opening up. The likes of Fanat, Van der Poel, Christoph, and many others caught out behind. Each and every one of the seven riders from the Ineos Grenadiers made it into the front group and a gap as big as just under a minute and a half opened up as they hit the first cobbles at Troisville. A couple of other teams, such as Quickstep Alpha Weinle, have done well. But the mechanical problem started. Filippo Ganna, one of the first to suffer. After the mechanical problems came the crashes. There were plenty of those too, I'm afraid. Lots of riders down at different points. Anthony Torgis, the man mainly suffering there. 111 kilometers to go with Matej Mohoric at the front of the race. He had Tom de Vrindt amongst three others for company. Ballerini had been there, but he was dropped in Arenberg. Then came the peloton, one minute 41 seconds behind. 2.3 kilometers of cobbles. But for not having to take a teammate's bike and struggling to get going. He then got a bike change and was soon back on with the help of Christophe Laporte. He then became a factor at the front of the race. Van Bala away with him, Lompart, Van der Poel, Sturver and several other big names. And at this stage, just under a minute behind. Denner Van Bala would try for the first time with 51 kilometers to go. That would kickstart the move from behind, though, and thin out the group further. Fambala still having a teammate, and Wat van Aert having another mechanical. This time, just inside the final 40 kilometers, another effort having to be made. At the front of the race, leading, Matej Mohoric then suffered a puncture, leaving Tom de Vrindt all on his own for Anto Marché. Wat van Aert would make it back on, but the attacks would be going again at the front. Yves Lompart following Matej Mohoric to rejoin the front of the race. And with 26 kilometers to go, again there was movement. Sturven trying to catch them behind. That is from Bala had made contact with the front group. Wat van Aert took away Stefan Kung. Mathieu van der Poel leaned on and unable to follow. Steven would be caught. And then he'd have an issue of his own. The umpteenth puncture of a chaotic day on the roads of northeast France. De Frint lost contact. Dylan van Bala pushed on. Mohoric and Lampard were fighting to hold his wheel. But the Dutchman going with 18 kilometers still to go. Just before they hit Carrefour de l'Arbre. There was an issue for Ben Turner behind, he'd crash. And Adrien Petit just missing, being caught up. Inside the final 10 kilometers, and that happened. A really unfortunate incident with a spectator colliding with Yves Lompard. He'd been on for a podium until that point. Inside the last two kilometers, Dylan Fabala knew that he'd won. 13 years of trying for the Ineos Grenadiers. Fabala, who'd been away for almost the last 20 Ks, able to celebrate. The old concrete track all his, 
and his team finally winning the race they've been trying to win for so long. Delight for him and team manager Dave Brailsford. First Dutch winner in eight years and from Barla catapulted to cycling superstardom. Second in Flanders, a cobblestone to take home as the winner of Roubaix. Stefan Kuhn launched his attack for second place with half a lap to go behind. Wart van Aert would just get in front of him. Kuhn finishing second. De Vriend with a ride of his career to end up in fourth place. And Mohoric would round out the top five. A wonderful win for Dylan van Baala. Van Aert in second, Kung third. Also in the top ten, Petit Sturver, Pichon, Van der Poel and Lombard. So a cobblestone for Dylan van Baala. Joining some great Dutch names as winner. But becoming the first man from his team in its 13th season to take victory at the Queen of the Classics.